do you want to see more high value, low cost, high quality camp options for perhaps car camping? Not so much survival? Let's follow on and I'll show you some. First item, binoculars. I haven't talked about these on the channel before because I'm not an optics really enthusiast, but these ones do just fine. These are just simple Tasco brand, 10 by 25 binoculars. I'm not a big bird watcher, but I do like to sort of, especially when I'm kayaking, see what is around a bend, and these ones serve just fine. Tasco 10 by 25, pay about 35 Australian dollars for these. Tasco are a pretty well regarded optics maker for the low to mid range. Good stuff. Oh. Torches, flashlights. Uh, I'm going to go against the curve. I think for car camping, I think a mag light is good. Uh, it's huge, I know, but it la it'll last for your whole trip, even if it gets left on. It's got, this one's got three D-cell batteries in it, bloody enormous, um, and all you need to do to make them any good is to put the LED bulb in there. The thing is, 195 lumens, which is what the LED in this one gets you, actually gets you a fair way because it's got such a huge um, cone there, and that's a lot of throw, and it'll really illuminate your whole campsite without a worry. And again, you're not going to lose it in the sand or in the leaves because it's so big. Um, really, really good uh, choice, I think, for car camping. Also good for survival kits, for you know, storm, bad weather kits, that sort of thing. I think just a simple mag light. Everyone rags on mag light because they haven't really, <laughs> haven't really adapted to the current technology even yet. Not very well anyway. But these are really, really good, especially well, pretty much mainly with the uh, LED bulb. Uh, one of my uh, long-time subscribers sent uh, this one in, and I just did a quick bulb change. Uh, thank you again to Flash the Domingo. One of my subscribers quite rightly pointed out that I'd left Victorinox Swiss Army Knife off the list. True, true. These are great value for camping and they do have a lot of your camping needs in there. Um, so you've got the Victorinox Explorer is my pick. That's my favourite Victorinox. It doesn't have a saw. It doesn't have a file. It doesn't have any of that big stuff. It's just got more of your... Um, it's really good in a first aid kit, this one. Because it's got the scissors, it's got the magnifying glass for your splinters, things like that. Maybe a fire starting emergency. Uh, um, it's got an all, you know, it's got the two blades, the opener layer, really, really good little multi-tool. Doesn't cost you very much, 40 bucks perhaps. Very good quality, and it's my favorite Victorinox uh, Swiss Army knife. If you're going car camping, it's nice to have some warm food in case you leave your fire and site set up a little bit late in the day whilst you get your fire prepared, or even on that first night, if maybe you don't even get to having a fire. It's Australia, you don't really need a fire at night time. The only thing it really does is keep the bugs away. So, pack some rice or some casserole away in a Stanley food jar. This will keep your food warm for about 12 hours. So from when you leave your house till probably the next morning, it'll be nice and warm, at least tepid by the morning. So very, very good. It doesn't do as well as the big thermoses because this lid doesn't go as deep into it, but it's still got that double thick stainless steel layer. This one carries about 500 grams of rice and it's just a, a single person's feed. Really, really good, especially if you're going by yourself. It doesn't cost too much either, probably about $30 or so. Good, good, good tool. You can't obviously put these on a fire or cook with them, a bit different to that, but good utility for the camping. Some folk are spork folk. I am hobo knife folk. This is the K-Bar hobo knife. It's got a spoon. It's got a knife, a locking knife, oh yeah, and it's got a fork, oh hey, that's become a fork, probably need to clean this a bit more often, but anyway, and they all come apart to make cutlery, that's right, no need to eat like a savage out in the wilds, you can use your knife and your fork, or you can use your spoon on its own, great for coffee, got a good segmented design where they all just plop together, really good. And there's a few different companies that make hobo knives. Case make a bit more of an expensive one, but this one costs very little. This one sets you back about 30 bucks, max. And it comes in a little belt sheath as well. Very, very cool K-Bar hobo knife. And yes, jumping on board with the other dudes, the Cold Steel Special Forces shovel is definitely the best small shovel going. Don't get a folding shovel. 
they just rick it up on you and they just don't have the digging power of this bad boy. And of course, as everyone else has said, you can sharpen the edge, comes with a sheath, mine's a bit rusty, but I don't really use mine for uh, cutting, I use it for digging, which does make it rust like crazy, it's 1055 steel, but nothing a short bow of the workshop wouldn't fix. This one's great, it's just rigid and it's strong, good, good holding handle grip thing here, you can really plunge it in. Good shovel, Cold Steel Special Forces. And finally, another really, really good thing that you don't have to spend a crap load of money on, despite the best efforts of companies like Emblit and such, is a stove. So this is a little Chinese branded folding stove, slots together, breaks down from little skinny pieces. There is nothing wrong with using one of these at all. You can just put it like that, have the fire underneath it, and it cooks your food, it warms up your, your canteen cup. It'll do just fine as a wood burning stove, it's got a little hole there. This does what all those other really expensive ones do. So you pay $8 for one of these from China, wait two weeks, and it really will be all the wood burning stove that you need, in my opinion. Um, it's got a couple of different options, it comes with this as like a base plate that you can slot in just to give it some stability. Um, or yeah, you can. it comes with a little bowl as well if you want to burn some oil or some wax in it or something like that, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with getting one of these instead of getting your super cool Emberlit stove that costs you a whole bunch of money. So in my opinion, nothing wrong with your, what brand is this, Luxita folding wood burning stove, they, once they get together of course. Oh, get in there. Anyway, it does work. You can watch my video on it, and it's good. It's just I'm fumbling with it right now. I've used it a whole bunch. It bows a little, but that actually seems to make it a little bit stronger in terms of holding together. There we go. Perfect. Luxada stove. Very good bargain. Like eight to fifteen dollars tops. That is my video, dudes. Um, I cut the last one a bit short, so sorry about that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.